So today we are going to be talking about what we use in our homeschool in between lessons, meaning when I'm working with one student, what I have the other student doing to kind of keep them occupied, but that's also school-based and learning and not just sitting there um, playing or doing something that's not educational. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I'm a homeschooling mama of two children, a 10th, 10 year old fourth grade boy and a seven and a half year old second grade girl. And so I am so glad you're here and grab you a cup of coffee and let's get started. So one of our newest additions to our homeschool has been these smart games. And we only have one so far, but we are loving these. We'll definitely be adding more. These are logic critical thinking games and they are meant for one person. And so they have games for more than one person, but the one person was the reason I wanted to get these so that I could have my daughter be occupied with something that is helping her work on those critical thinking logic skills um, that she doesn't need anyone else to help her with. And so this game right here is about the squirrels trying to get their acorns into the hole. And so it gives you how to set up the game all the way from starter, to the most challenging, those are the solutions, most challenging, which would be the wizard level. And so truthfully, I sat there yesterday and did about 20 different levels because it was so fun. So we will definitely be adding more of these to our homeschool. I highly recommend these. I got this one off Amazon. It was under $20, highly recommend them. I'll link it down below. Another hands-on thing that we've had for a couple years are these Creature Gears by Learning Resource. Um, my daughter has made a standard poodle. We've made cars, all sorts of things. And in fact, something I'm about to show you, we even use this today to actually see how the gears turn. So I highly recommend these. We've had these again for a while. This set came from Costco. A new addition as well that I got off Amazon as well was this logic workbook for gritty kids ages six to 10. And this has over 150 activities. We just started this and I like it. It is challenging. In fact, this one is not finished because it's really challenging. Um, but this is something I can give her minimal instructions and have her do. Um, and I just, I think this is a great workbook type critical thinking, which is something that I like to incorporate in my homeschool. We've also used several things from the Critical Thinking Company and I highly recommend those as well. A lot of times they'll have um, coupons for you to download their PDFs and I highly recommend anything from the Critical Thinking Company. The last thing my daughter uses, and especially first thing in the morning when we're all just sitting down for school and I have like a long thing to read to my son, I have her work in her fun schooling journal. I've talked about this in my second grade curriculum video, um, our summer video, but this is so fun. It's very minimal um, instruction from me, if any, and she can just turn to a page and get started. This was created by a dyslexia, a mom of dyslexic children, and so there's dyslexia games in here, all sorts of stuff. There are oodles of this on Amazon, um, but fun schooling, there's curriculum, all sorts of stuff. This is all we use and we love it. So again, these are just a few things. Two other resources that we use, I've talked about before. My daughter uses Nessie, which is on the computer to help with reading, spelling, typing. It's an amazing resource. And they even have a writing program that she does not use currently, but I can say, hey, I need you to go spend 20 minutes on that while I'm doing this. And likewise, our son uses vocab class to help with spelling. And so I can say, hey, I need you to go spend 20 minutes on this while I'm working with your sister. So those are just some of the things we use in our homeschool. Let me know down in the comments what you use to help your student while you're working with the other student. And also some of your favorite resources. Do you use critical thinking in your homeschool? I'd love to know more. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.